Ukraine says Russian forces are still bombing Kharkiv, the country's second largest city, even though most of Russia's focus remains on the eastern Donbass region. U.S. analysts say Russia's intensifying attacks around the northern part of Kharkiv, and so far, the city has been largely spared, but residential buildings have been hit. The head of Ukraine's security service in Kharkiv said, quote, what the Russians can't take, they ruin. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has targeted homes, schools, even museums. When the bombs hit, one museum did everything it could to save the artwork inside. Ivankiv, it's about an hour from Ukraine's capital, was the hometown of one of Ukraine's most famous artists, Maria Priemenchiko's work. It is considered a symbol of the country's unwavering spirit. During an attack, people rushed into the collapsing museum and saved all 14 of her paintings inside. The curator says she is certain Russian forces target that art on purpose. What they are trying to do now is erase any evidence that Ukraine had its own culture, its own history. Many statues across Ukraine are wrapped up against possible attacks. As of last week, at least 12 Ukrainian museums, 15 monuments and seven libraries have been damaged. The Denver Zoo says it's going to be sending donations to three zoos in Ukraine. The zoo says it sent $50,000 so far from nearly 900 donations. And Kyiv's zoo director says that money helps them buy fresh food for some of their animals, and it helps maintain a sense of normalcy. Denver Zoo is still accepting donations. If you'd like, you can find a link to the Wildlife Emergency Fund on their website.